There goes Brian. Come on, Brian. Get with the beans. Got it. He's got it. Here we go. Momentum. Go. Go. Nice. <laughs> he owned it. If you want him to do something, just make it competitive. Exactly. What is it? The order of the shamrock? So uh, we decided to start a motorcycle club. So we all, to be in the club, you get a shamrock. Ray's is covered now. Ray's has got a live, a live edge on it. That's though. right. I'm going so fast. Tyler's got his. We'll put it on your jersey when you get one. Yeah. So how's the ride so far? It's great. This is beautiful single track. We didn't, you should show us your bike. So this is your 250. It's a bit dirtier at the moment than when I bought it, but original mm. owner, 98 Honda XR 250R. That's an awesome bike. It's all stock right now. I just added this skid plate. Well, where'd you find the skid plate? That's a ricochet skid plate. Did, did you get it new or used? It's, it's new. Oh, that's a nice they're skid still, plate. They're still making them, so. That's cool. I love the tail light. Everything works too, even the speedometer. That's a great bike. All right, it goes off. So there you go, Jack. Slippery bridges, you want to hit them straight, they'll bite you bad. All right, so let's uh, let's just take you right up right there. We'll yeah. get both of us on the... We have the, the wheel here is on this stump, we need to lift it up. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Up, oh. okay. and down. Yep, and down. Okay. There we go. Wow. First drink, man. That oh. was, <laughs> I see those things and I think, Man, that's the last place I'd want to fall off is one of those bridges. Yeah. Well, you know, I was right when I went over, I was like, oh, this is just about the worst place in the world to do. Did you get a little gas around there or? I think that, I don't know what happened. I, but it definitely, it slipped right at that edge of the bridge. As soon as the back wheel hit that bridge, it slid out. <laughs> oh, we'll get it. Okay, so the other thing, um, oh, I bet the tool kit. We gotta um, bump the Kickstarter back oh, that, a little it bit. It moved on you again, it moved huh? On me okay. Up there. Anyway, so let's see. I can probably get it started. What, what gear am I in? <laughs> wow, that could have been a that could have been a that could have been a, a, crash. A, a painful gnarly crash. Did you? Did you go with the bike over the bike on the downhill side? Yeah. So you lit down there I in the bush? Right in here. Right? I mean, look, I could have landed on this thing. Yeah. Good. But I went right in here. Good grief. <laughs> oh, I can't kick it because the stump is in the way. So let's uh, roll you forward. There we go. Okay. All right, let me get in front, in front of you and I'll grab the tire. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna move a little bit. I'm just gonna pull it. Yep. Ready? Ready, one, two, three. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, all right. Better. We could uh, just get it out of here too, if yeah, you want. Maybe, here, let me put it in neutral. All right, Jack, I want you up here on the bridge. Grab the hand guard right here. Okay. When we get closer and help pull, and we'll just take it slowly. Up here. All right, you got the brake? Oh, you got the brake? I got the brake, okay. All right, hold on. Let me move it over. Okay, let's move it one foot. One, three. One, two, three, go. Okay, got the brake. All right, again. One, two, three. All right, got the brake. One, two, three. One more. One, Two, three. All right, hold up. All right, you right there, Jack. All right, on three. One, two, three. We're up. Oh, we were in gear. Oh yeah, I was holding it when we were Good. coming up, but I lost it. So the kicker slipped and was hitting the yeah that foot peg stop, isn't it? Right there. I fell over in water a couple times, but I always landed on It's the not hitting side. it as badly as the last time, but it's still hitting it. Yep, got it right there. Oh, it's not very tight. 
So we need to Loctite that one. Yeah, that clearly needs to. Yeah, that's, it's loose. Okay, Jack, grab us a rock to bash with. We need, we need, a, we need a bashing rock. This is why you bring tools, Jack. As I... In 10 minutes, you can, you can get far enough, uh, what takes an hour to walk on a bike. Or better. You know what you need? You need Jeremy Clarkson's second favorite tool. Yeah, a hammer would be nice, but it's a little difficult to carry. Is that going to clear there? Got a biker coming. Yeah, it's going to do it. Great. Good, how about you? Good. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, let's tighten that up. That'd be good. I am all about this tool right here, man. This is so good. The problem is that we're without the two people with um, microphones. Yeah, it is aluminum thread, so I don't want to get too carried away. It just has to last the ride. Yeah, I think you're good. Will that clear there now? I can hear you speaking to yourself. Man, that video was terrible. You just wasted seven minutes of my life. <laughs> as, as I've always said, you get what you pay for on this channel. So <laughs> don't, don't expect a lot. But actually, there was a lot of folks that we mentioned in the past video last week um, uh, that Brian had got that uh, that new bike, that new XR. And uh, a lot of folks were wanting to see that. So we went dirt biking. We had, man, we had a great time. It was We had the whole crew together. Um, there's five of us now. We've got Tyler and Jack and Ray and Brian and myself. And man, we, we, we are very well matched and we have a great time riding. We rode for almost six hours, uh, covered about um, 30, 35 miles in single track. Some of that was spent uh, pulling uh, bikes out of drinks and uh, doing a little mechanical work, but we're getting everything flushed out. And, uh, and I, I, it, there's just not, nothing better than uh, going uh, with a group of guys and having the boys along. Uh, it's it's wonderful. It, it uh, I feel very blessed. I feel very blessed to live in a place um, that is so beautiful, that has um, uh, such wonderful places to ride, just a stone's throw from our house, and to be able to go through old growth hemlock and dug fir forests and the, and the views of the Cascades as you come out, big white uh, white covered snow mountains, and it's a uh, it really is wonderful. I um, I just uh, I just really really like it. So uh, anyway, so I put this up there, just a little little slice of life of what happened uh, over the weekend. Uh, Brian and I have a lot of stuff going on. I've got something special for you. So a lot of you didn't like the saw comparison uh, with the bit with the small silky or the silky big boy versus the the big buck saw. Well, I have a treat for you. In my hot little hands, in my possession, is the famous silky katana boy and <laughs> i'll do an unboxing here uh maybe we'll show that today brian and i are going to pull out that massive what is it 500 i don't know some metric system measurement on there that i don't understand uh we're going to pull that out and we're going to put the katana boy up against the traditional american saw and um who's going to come out on top so look for that uh, we'll try to get that up for you uh in the morning but thanks for watching don't forget to support the channel by commenting and and clicking the thumbs up. Um, I guess that's all I have today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.